What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. Well, it is now over. It's over. Sexy Red, who is, of course, everybody knows Sexy Red, is the sage of political talk when it comes to the black community. I mean, everybody knows that when you want to go to one particular celebrity, when it comes to guidance, when it comes to being the savant of political talk, when it comes to someone being the guru of what's best for us as a community, we all know you don't go to Louis Farrakhan, listen to elders like uh, Jesse Jackson. Well, Jesse Jackson's kind of sick now, so I guess he's not a good example. But then again, they pretty much unalived all our real good leaders. They've either un been unalived or they're deceased. Now all of the religious slash political leaders that we have are just a bunch of goddamn pulpit pimps and demo demo dummy credit shields. But uh, look, sexy red is that per is that person that we supposed to listen to, right? Um, it's the same woman that uh, made a song called Pound Town, right? I mean, I don't listen to a lot of this stuff. You know, so I'm sorry if I sound like some old fuddy duddy who's still stuck in 1997, but I don't listen to none of this shit, man. But uh, don't she got some sound called song called Pound Town or something? Is this a shit? They got a gloss line, lip gloss line, where the colors are based upon uh, various naughty uh, nether nether region parts and STDs and. Uh, that's the same woman, right? So, anyway, she has revealed that she is voting for Kamala Harris. This after the last two years, I believe, maybe even longer than that, where she has praised Donald Trump. In a major social media endorsement of Kamala Harris, hip-hop star Sexy Red announced on Friday that she voted for the Democratic presidential nominee. During early voting in Missouri, the St. Louis rapper posted photos of herself sporting, quote, I voted stickers as she posed in front of a black SUV, presumably after casting her ballot. I just voted. Don't tell us what to do with our... Don't tell us what to do with our coochies. Hashtag Kamala for president. Captioned the, captioned the musician whose real name is Janae Nara Wary. I hope I pronounced that correctly. The announcement may come as a surprise to many as Sexy Red had previously expressed support for Donald Trump, the Republican nominee. During an interview in October 2023, the 26-year-old star said, I like Trump. They support him in the hood. She said, uh, at first, I don't think people was effing with him. They thought he was racist, saying little ish, you know, about women. But once he started getting black people out of jail and giving people their free money, oh, baby, we love Trump. We need to get him back in office. The rapper had also expressed her admiration for Trump by rebranding his, quote, Make America Great Again slogan as her own Make America Sexy Again. The MC also displayed a MAGA-like cap while performing at the 2024 Roots Picnic. Uh, look, in all seriousness, though, nobody really should give a shit about what she has to say, but I do find it interesting that most of these mainstream media outlets and people in general who dismissed her as a, quote, buck dancer, right, and I, and, and I mean, she still is one, right? Because you got them on both sides of the aisle. But I do find it interesting that they're embracing her 
right? They're embracing her now that she uh, has switched her allegiance to Kamala Harris. I'm just going to say this, right? I mean, up until now, and this just comes from interacting with different brothers I know, uh, this comes from listening to people in my everyday whereabouts. I'm starting to believe now that Kamala's going to win this election. And it's, it's coming from the fact that I think the Democrats focus on women and reproductive rights is working. I think it's working. Uh, I'm going to tell you something, man. I have so many mixed feelings behind this election because one thing that, that people don't understand about me, and, and it's like they refuse to listen to me. They want to put you in a in a box because that's easier for them. They didn't hear what you're saying, but it's easier for people to shut off what you're saying because they still don't agree with my overall tactics or, or, or what I'm saying. So it's easier for people to, to just put you in a box. I keep getting people saying I'm a secret Trump supporter, which I'm not. But if you listen to my videos, one of the key things that you might hear that I cannot stand more than anything else is the media because they're full of shit. Just come out and say, we will always, for the most part, back a Democratic candidate. 90% of the media. This has been a fact going back to the 50s. 90% of the media is left-leaning. This is the same media that pretty much shut out any coverage or any uh, revelation or exposure of FDR being uh, a, a polio victim. They looked out for him. Okay? Um, now, that's honorable because they wouldn't do that today, but they looked out for him. All right? JFK. JFK was doing things back in the late 50s, early 60s that would end, that would have ended his career. Ended his career as far as the womanizing. The recklessness of his woman womanizing, by the way. Not just one or two indiscretions, but I mean, this guy was fucking everything. Not to mention the stuff he was doing when he was in the White House. Not to mention he was doctor, he was visiting Dr. Feelgood when he was in the White House, getting hopped up on all these different uh, medications. Not to mention also that he had Addison's disease and that his health wasn't all that great. But they covered up for him because they liked him. Not to mention that he also made a lot of racist, uh, off-the-cuff remarks in front of a press corps during a particularly hot summer. I can't remember which year it was when he was president. He made some joke about something to the effect of, well, uh, it's uh, been so hot that uh, even the N-words are running to the beaches in front of the media. And they covered it up because they liked them. But had that been, say, Barry Goldwater, he made a remark like that, they would have, they would have, they, they couldn't have rushed to the goddamn, uh, <laughs> to the news stations uh, to, to, to print that out there. That's just what I'm saying. They, they're, they're biased. But, they, you know, but they, the fact they try to act like they're not pisses me off. You know? Now, don't get me wrong. If the Trump side loses, a lot of it's their goddamn fault. You guys keep embracing these racist ass voters. You keep doing it. You keep saying, oh, we're going to open up the tent and uh expand the party you know we're trying to change our image but you do the same thing every time and if there are black voters who don't like some of the stuff that's going on with the democratic party and if they were even thinking about voting republican because they're listening to you guys trying to change your image you do the same stuff so either you know people are going to vote third party or they're going to sit it out. At the same time, 
a lot of brothers aren't feeling the Democratic Party right now. Because if they lose, you know who's going to get the blame. We know who's going to get the blame if they lose. Us. But if they win, and if we do show up in the numbers that have been consistent in past presidential uh, elections, just behind black women as the second largest uh, voting bloc for the Democratic Party, we still not going to get any praise. It's going to be black women or Hispanics or women. I, I assume this time it's going to be women. And, and and that's what goes a lot of us. We're just fucking human pinatas. We're political pinatas, I should say. We're political pinatas for everybody else's frustration. And we're getting tired of that. So when it comes to this election, man, I'm frustrated. I don't care for either particular, I don't care for either side, but I'm more annoyed at the Democrats. Because I, I I know what they do. I know what they do. They use scare tactics. They use scare tactics to get people to the polls, and it works every time. It works every time. Like I keep saying, I said this about a billion times. Remember 12 years ago, Mitt Romney was the boogeyman. Mitt Romney, if he comes in office, he's gonna take away our rights. He's gonna put us behind, uh, you know, put us in chains and bring back slavery, which was outlandish and ridiculous. But if people fell for it, is it the same thing as John McCain, which is ridiculous, right? Now, all of a sudden, they're embracing Mitt Romney's endorsement. Oh, he's a sensible Republican. They're embracing all these goddamn warmongers who they couldn't stand 20 years ago. The Bush regime and Dick Cheney and Lynn Cheney. All these people they was calling racist 20 years ago. Now, all of a sudden, oh, uh, you know it's bad when uh, even they are, are they're on our side. Nah, it really tells me, y'all, some typical corporate shield slash... Um, you know what I'm saying? War machine puppets. Kamala's going to be a typical Washington politician who's going to cater to the military industrial complex and is going to be an absolute, uh, you know what I'm saying, the same token supporter of Israel and their horrible war policy. Or should I say foreign policy? You know, I don't want to go into that too much in this particular video, but you know what I'm saying. It's not going to be nothing different, man. Nothing's going to change. They play on people's emotions. But you know what? If Kamala wins, and I know a lot of Trump supporters are going to be pissed off, you can't be. And I don't want to hear nothing about no rigging. I'm tired of that. <clears throat> tired of that. I'm tired of hearing you guys always crying and complaining when y'all lose about it being rigged. At the end of the day, y'all be blowing it, man. You be blowing it. So, and by the way, in my last particular video, it's also apparent that they seized upon that comment. Well, it was stupid when Donald Trump said it, uh, but I don't think he meant it in a threatening way if you listen to the entire context of what he was saying. But it was still dumb. And he says so many dumb goddamn things. Uh, and that's part, that's mainly the main reason that he loses because he says a lot of dumb shit. But the media... Seize upon it also because she's a woman. By the way, the adult, the, uh, the fictional Avengers have come out and supported Kamala. So that tells you, man, I don't know, man. I, I, I really think uh, I, I mean, look, it, it, this, this thing could still go either way, but I, I'm now starting to think with Four days remaining until the election ends. I'm starting to think Kamala's gonna win, y'all. You guys were just starting to wrap your head, wrap your minds around it, man. Wrap your minds around it, man. All you guys who tell us, oh, Trump's gonna win in the landslide. I keep trying to tell y'all, nah, this is gonna be a close election. It's gonna go down to the wire. Trump can still win, but it's gonna be close. But I'm getting that sense, man. I'm I'm people telling me, you know, they uh, you know, they're looking at some of the out, the voter turnout in certain areas, and it's kind of reminding them of 2008. Um, I'm listening. I was at the doctor's office today, and I'm listening to the doctors, nurses, black people, white people, uh, all talking about this 
Trump being hit, uh, Trump being Adolf Schuckel Gruber stuff. Uh, that stuff is starting. It, it's working, man. I think it's working. I think it's working. I think for the first time, you know, I think Trump Trump's Teflon is starting to starting to fray a little bit, man. You know, when Jean unleashed her power and Apocalypse's armor ripped open, I think it, I think Trump's armor's kind of cracked a little bit, man. Uh, also, I think Trump's age is a part of this. He's not fighting back as much. You know, um, I think he's making a lot of missteps. He's saying things in his old age that I think eight years ago he probably wouldn't have said. Like this Lynn Cheney thing, you know, um, you know, because look, everybody was talking about how Trump is a great politician. He's not, but that's always what was enduring about him to some of his supporters is that he wasn't a typical politician. He said what was on his mind, but the problem is a lot of times what he says on his mind, um, taken out of context, and even sometimes not taken out of context, can sound horrible. Um, so that's just how I feel about it, man. Still a close race, still winnable by each, either, either party, uh, as far as the top spot, but I'm starting to get a sense that she might've won this job. Anyway, tell me what you guys thought.